Part two of the 90 Day Fiance The Other Way season five tell all opens up with Shekinah saying, I never really cared for Danielle. I felt like she had very specific reasons to choose Johan as a partner. She liked the size of his peen and I feel like she manhandled him. <laughs> oh, Daniel manhandled Johan. That's why this man had his hands on just about every single woman that wasn't his wife in Dominican Republic. You know, she gave me a play by play of their entire relationship and described every single detail. Every time she saw him, sent me pictures that he sent her. One of them was a picture of his on Christmas Eve while I was handing out gifts to his family in his neighborhood. Really? Really. No way! You know what we've all noticed, Shekinah? You seem to be a woman that hates on other women a lot. You come across very negative and very critical from the minute you showed up on this tell-all, you brought a lot of mean girl energy. Which is ironic because the most Googled question regarding you and your segment is, is Shekinah trans? Turns out that she's actually not trans socks. I have a picture that I stumbled across the other night of what she used to look like and it's gonna blow your mind. Because it turns out that Shekinah used to be a white girl that had all these surgeries done to look like a Kardashian or look Middle Eastern. They need to have some kind of psych evaluation done. I'm assuming that people like this that get too many surgeries to look like another group or another race of people probably get refused cosmetic surgeries here in the United States. So they cut these people off that are addicted to cosmetic surgeries. I'm talking about Darcy and Stacey. I'm talking about Ollie London. I'm talking about those specific types of people. They don't get surgeries here because doctors refuse them. So what do they do? They go fly to Turkey. And that's exactly what Shekinah did. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. But here's the problem with this Shekinah. There isn't one person with the brain that wants to look like you and your man. If you're curious and you should be, make sure you stay until the end of this video because I'm gonna be showing y'all what Shekinah used to look like before she got all of these box surgeries and we're gonna have a discussion about it together as a family. Now, before I show what this woman used to look like, I think it's only fair that I tell y'all about their next business venture. You see, not only is Johan a little Einstein because remember, God bless him being 6'7", he has a lot of physical gifts. Not a lot of mental gifts though. The mindset is terrible and you can see that by how he relies on all of these women to make money instead of investing in himself and his own ability. For example, if you're 6'7", you're six, seven foot already. I feel like the majority of guys believe that if they were six, seven, they could rule the entire world. Am I right? And what job did he used to work? I'm happy you asked. He was a personal trainer at a luxury resort in Dominican Republic. Before we continue reviewing this dog water TV show, I'd like to tell you about today's video sponsor, Audible. New members get a free trial of Audible and on Audible, you will find the largest collection of audiobooks. You'll discover exclusive Audible originals from top celebrities, renowned experts, and exciting new voices in audio. And the Audible app makes it easy to listen in anytime, anywhere, whether you're traveling or whether you're cooking yourself up some breakfast. I don't know about y'all, but I recently started listening to The Woman and Me by Britney Spears on Audible, and I'm really enjoying her audiobook so far. I think it's great that Britney is finally telling her story from her point of view after all these years. As an Audible member, you can choose one title a month to keep from the entire catalog, including bestsellers and new releases. Personally, I usually listen to audiobooks when I'm cleaning my house or I'm at the gym. If y'all are interested in getting started with Audible, go to audible.com slash your wet sock or touch your wet sock to 500 500 firm handshakes to audible for sponsoring today's video now let's get back to our featured program so you know a lot of exercises they're all in the brain you've been working as a personal trainer in what universe do you open up a butcher shop and not take advantage of the American audience that you've obtained from going on the show by doing online workouts, setting up the camera, looking up YouTube videos on how to make good videos in the fitness community. Point I'm trying to make is that a lot of cast members go on the show, they get all the clout from going on the show. When they're off the show, they start these business ventures that are so moronic that the entire audience looks at each other and says to themselves, there's no way that these are real people. We can't even believe it. We're almost taken aback by it. In a roundabout way, what I'm trying to say is that Sarper and Shekinah are also little Einsteins, just like Johan. They started their own business. Let's check it out real quick. My name is Shekinah, and I am part of the famous couple Shekinah and Sarper from 90 Day Fiance The Other Way. We established a medical tourism company together to help people just like you select the best treatments and to connect you with the best doctors in Turkey. <laughs> 
I am so offended right now. How dare y'all try to assume that we also want to look like wax statues just like you two knuckleheads. Are you out of your mind, Shekinah? After getting all these plastic surgeries, you barely resemble a human being. You might be 4% human now and the rest of the percentage, what's the math on that? 96% plastic? <laughs> Sorry, I needed that laugh really quick. That was funny. This seems like an appropriate time to reveal what she kind of used to look like. This is her old picture. Welcome to The Reveal. I'm your host with the most, Big Ed. And please welcome your straight co-host, Tim. Tim, are you there? Tim? Okay, so I guess Tim is busy, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome our backup because we all knew this was going to happen. Your Wet Sox creator, Nicholas Cage. Yes, hi, it's me, Wet Sox. Call me dad. Hey, uh... You aren't gonna burn my soul or anything for cheating on Liz, right? Oh, Ed, I can't burn people's souls. That was just a movie. Um, sorry for that, guys. Wait a second. Sarper, what are you doing out of your box? Get back in there, pipsqueak. Yeah, don't make me come over there and beat that meat baby. Okay, can we move on with this? The people are waiting. Yes, of course. Caveman, the remote for the curtains, please. I know how to make babies. That's great, buddy. Hand over the clicker. My name, Asuelu. Maybe someone want to suck me? The clicker, please. Oh my God, who invited the two-week-year-old fetus? Come see me after the show, girl. I know you, you ghost man. You have fire on your head. All right, are we ready, Wet Socks? In three, two, uh... let's draw the curtains. <laughs> And honestly, last night when I first saw this picture, I was horrified and very confused because she was so pretty. She looks like Ashley Simpson here to me. And I had a huge crush growing up on Ashley Simpson and Avril Lavigne. When Skater Boy came out, yo. Oh wow, thinking caps on. So walk me through this Shekinah. You used to look like this and you came out looking like this. And you wanna give us surgery recommendations in Turkey? You came out looking worse than you originally did, but you wanna try and paint it like you're putting us on? Nah. Say it with me, class. This right here is an op. Trying to earn a commission from recommending certain uh, plastic surgeons and caretakers in Turkey? What? Like, like moi needs plastic surgery? Like we need plastic surgery? Even if we did, I would trust Yelp reviews more than I would trust these two clowns. I've never had a cosmetic procedure in my life. However, I do understand that if there's something you really don't like about yourself and you want to change, you're hell bent on changing it. For example, a nose job, Okay, and then you stop getting surgeries after that nose job, that's different. We have to set a line somewhere between the people that get one or two surgeries and the people that can't stop and it becomes an addiction. It's obviously mental illness and they do just about everything. And in Shekinah's case, you're doing just about everything to nitpick in other women, things that you also do yourself which tells me that really deep down you hate yourself and you're seeing things in these other women that are a reflection of you and you don't like it and you're so quick to point it out. Realistically, if you looked inward, you would be sending out more positive vibrations. You would be more well-liked by the majority of the audience. That's a fact. This man in the picture that I'm assuming is the father of your daughter, who is now 16 years old, which makes the situation so loaded because you're with this guy Sarper on this TV show that you've only known for a couple of months, and you're on the show trying to save face, telling the entire world that this is the best relationship you've ever been in. That is so sad. I do that yeah. at the beginning of every new relationship that I'm uh -huh. entering, so it wasn't something unusual for me to do, and I don't, provided the don't same. Don't talk about, babe. Okay, babe. Other relationships. Yeah. Uh, oh, but he can tell you about 2,500. I, I was a virgin before I met him. <laughs> How would you show up for the you back then? Would you tell yourself that you look beautiful the way you are? And that's what it really comes down to is a lot of the people that get these cosmetic procedures regret it later in their life. It's obvious they do. Maybe you could help someone that was also feeling insecure and looking into getting all these cosmetic procedures instead of turning to natural things you can do to improve how you feel about yourself. When I was a kid, I had an enclave chest and I would be so upset about it. I would get teased by certain people on the beach. I felt very insecure about that. So what did I do? I was sad, I talked to my dad about it, and you know what he said to me? But he dropped down and gave me 100 push-ups. And I was like, what dad? You want me to drop down and do push-ups? He's like, buddy, you wanna change this about yourself, right? So do it. 
drop down and give me 100 push-ups every night before you go to bed, no matter what. So I did the push-ups and then guess what? I fixed my own problem. I just had an underdeveloped chest muscle and then I did the push-ups and then I fixed it. Now it's different and I don't want people to go ham in the comments about you can't change your face, all this stuff. Look, what I'm trying to say here is there's things you can do naturally to bring out your beautiful features. And the problem I see with Shekinah is you look so generic. You don't have any distinctive features anymore, girl. That is so sad for you. I feel like I've seen you on Instagram a hundred different times. Look at what she used to look like and look at her now. How many times have you seen women that look just like her on Instagram? Honest to God, let me know in the comments. At the end of the day, the people that look like monsters are still getting surgeries. So what does that tell us? That tells us that if you keep getting all these surgeries, it's not actually going to improve how you see yourself. You're always gonna see yourself with those same negative lenses or that same negative perspective. Y'all, when they played that video message of Shekinah's sister talking to her sister and talking about how she could say a lot of things to try and give advice to Sarper, but it would fall on deaf ears because he's not in a mental state where he can even comprehend what she's saying. That's all she said. She didn't say anything very insulting about this man, but Shekinah called her own sister a bitch. That speaks volumes about her character. So what a bitch. I feel like. My little brother's my best friend and I would never say one bad word about my brother publicly. The minute I saw that, I said, oh wow, this girl's lost. Put yourself in your daughter's situation. What do you think she's thinking right now? Am I next? What happens if I express a concern to my mother about her relationship with this guy? Is she gonna side with him and not with me? Am I gonna be out of the house? Allegedly, her and her daughter don't even speak. How sad is that? If it's true, I hope it's not true. I pray to God it's not true. They bring on cast members from the other seasons that haven't grown as human beings and they reward bad behavior. What about bring on someone that's honest and owns their shit? What about bring on some mentors that could coach these people up and impart wisdom and give good advice? What about somebody to be real with her? No one's been real with her on the tell-all. I've even noticed that he'll say things like, I work cause I'm the man. You don't need to say I'm the man after that. You could just say that you work and you have a job because that's the bare fucking minimum. He's trying to make himself seem better than he is. You entered this relationship with Sarper because you were also very physically attracted to him because he got just as many cosmetic procedures as you did. It's not rocket science, quite frankly. It's actually very obvious what has happened. You're writing this theme of plastic surgery. No one talks about looks more than you do. You wanna shift that blame on a Danielle? Here's the thing. Do you have any hobbies? Like, I'm not even kidding. Do you have any skills? Is there anything that you like? Do you have any interests that you can share with the audience of the show that you've gained from going on this TV show? I'll give you an example right now. I recently started collecting a lot of Pokemon cards from the 151 collection, and boy oh boy, do these cards look beautiful. My favorite one is the Poliwhirl. Look at it. He's looking at his own reflection. That's something that you should be doing, Shekinah. When I was 16 years old, I was still watching TV. I don't watch TV much anymore, but my favorite show was Cops, and I started to really get into true crimes content. So imagine that for a second. Your mom's dating the guy with this face. She's planning on building a life together with the guy that looks like something out of Taken, looks like he would be in a true crimes documentary. And he controls your mom, and that's publicly known for the entire world to see, yeah, I'd be very concerned. Let me know in the comments what y'all think about Sarper and Shekinah. The holidays are coming up. Check out our Amazon storefront if you wanna get some great gifts for your loved ones. If you got some spare coin, check out our merch. If you want some one-on-one -on -one time with me, please order a cameo. I'm the number one cameo creator in the entire world. Super thankful that y'all watch my content. Comment below, subscribe. Let's be friends, let's be friends. Follow me on Twitch and on Instagram right now.